Hey everybody and welcome to our first real life person video. This is me. If I'm not playing on the computer and we're going to be building a pulley system. Let's do it. Disclaimer before this video starts. I know you guys really want to get to the the content, but I just wanted to say right here. This is a very long video and it's about us building a pulley system. So, if you guys really like that kind of content, please just keep watching and it will it will be enjoyable to you. But if you don't and you think that you want to click on the video, click off the video right now, don't. We have a time lapse at the end of the video as well as a explanation of how the mechanism works, showing how the mechanism works. So if you guys just want to see a cool time lapse at the end of the video with some music going on in the background and then my conclusion at the end. Um, we'll have a, um, a timestamp in the description as well as the pin comment below that you can go to and you can enjoy that time lapse. You can enjoy my um, review at the end of this. But if you do like the constructions, please keep watching. It's coming up soon. Um, hopefully you enjoy the video or you enjoy the time lapse. Let's go make a pulley system. So here is the instructions for the pulley system that we are going to be building. For our bikes, we're gonna be putting two bikes on our ceiling, one right here. And because of the beam in the center, I was assuming, we're gonna also put one right there. Um, we're measuring the bikes out right now. If you guys wanna look up this one, and I'll give you guys a little bit of my review of it when I'm done, when we're done. Okay, hopefully you guys enjoy the building. So here's our locking system right here. And how you do it, it may not make sense on the ground, but once it's up there, it will. Um, you have this pulley, you go straight through this lock here. So straight through in the back and through the hole. So if we were to do it, we would put this y this rope straight through there, like that, and through the hole. Just like that. I want you to get it all the way through, just pull it all the way through. So we have about 12 feet of rope that we just um, threaded it through our lock here. And now we're gonna start building the actual mechanism to pulley the bike up. We have our two pulleys here and we got our two um, top parts right there. So we have one of them that is gonna go here to hold the um, handlebars of the bike. And this one's gonna go back here to hold the seat of the bike up as it, as it goes up. Okay, so we have our rope. Let's get the end of it. End of our 12 feet here. And just thread it through our first um, bike holder here. The one for the handlebars. And then we're going to then, as we thread it through, so now it will work. It will pull it up if we pull that. But if it starts going down pretty quickly, it won't be it won't be able to go down. So we can put this back down. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna go back to the end of our rope, and we're just gonna keep doing that, going forward and back as we go through these pulleys. Um, so then we have our top part here as. The, the system that will pull the um, bike up and down. So now we have this here. Okay. So now we're going to need to get the other part. So we're gonna go back to the end of our rope here. Grab the other side and put it straight through there. So we'll have enough space for our bike. We'll have that little ton area for our bike, and then we're going to have the the um, pulley where we put the seat. Now, so we go right back down to the end of our wire, put it through this this other um, holder for the seat, um, through the um, wheel here. Underneath it. Underneath it, yeah. So we're gonna have it through the um, this metal portion here, and then the wheel in the middle, um, and we're gonna go right underneath that. That goes down, and then we're gonna go straight to the end. And if we look at our other our demo piece over there, we're going to then 
put it through the end hole here. So we have four. We have the one closest to our lock, closest to our other um, pulley system over here. And through this one, we're gonna put it through the one farthest away from that pulley system. So like that. And then just make a, a simple knot with this one, one that um, maybe make it two so that um, it will be able to keep together. Go with three. Go with three. Just so that your bike doesn't fall on anything that may be um, valuable. Your bike's valuable, so you don't want that to fall either. And as you, as you kind of pull that taunt, it shouldn't be able to, if it's able to, if you're pulling it and it's able to move or able to untie the knot, then definitely tie it up again. But if it's not, then you should have a pretty good looking um, pulley system. We're gonna pull this right back through as we, as we kind of pick this up. And there you go. There's your pulley system. So now I'm gonna show you guys the path that it takes, the rope takes through the pulleys and locks. First we have our first lock here um, and it goes through this lock comes down to our holder of the handle. It comes back, back up to our first pulley here, goes through to the um, back end of the bike here, and then it goes down to the placeholder for the um, seat. And then it comes back up to your knot, which is right here. That's kind of the pathway that it will take through the whole machine. And now we're gonna install it. So we have our first pulley system right here holding up one of our bikes. Feel pretty safe with that one, as you guys can see. And we have it stabilized to the wall right here so that we can pull it up, pull it down when we need it. Here are the tools that we are going to use for our next one. Um, we have our drill bit right here, screwdriver, stud finder, um, tape measure, um, six screws for the inner mechanism, the center of the piece eight screws for the outer for stabilization and washers to go with this. Now we're going to start building our next one right here for our second bike. We'll show you how we do it and I'll get a few helpers. I'll meet you up there. So I have my dad here. He's the handyman around the house. He's going to help me up with putting up this pulley. So we have our stud finder and we have our tape measure for our first part of the sink. First of all, pre before you even start any of this, wear safety. My dad's got safety glasses on. I got my own glasses, own kind of safety. So get that safety. And now we are going to first find the stud and then we're going to measure out our bike for the pulley system. You got a green light when you're ready. You got red lights all the way to the top when you know where your stud is. So. See our stud is like right around here. It's the crack that kind of gives us an idea where it's at. There's the red. Yeah, and then green. So I'm talking right here. Um, and then what's the measurement? Our measurement of our bike that we're putting on is my mom's bike. Our measurement is 30 inches. So we're gonna have to measure that out with our tape measure and then mark it with our pens and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. mm -hmm. So let's just find a reference point. You can see there's metal right there, so I don't really want to get too close to there. This could be our 30 mark, and then that would be our other. So we'll I'll just use this as a reference point. Put a little dot right there on the ceiling, or an X marks the spot. Okay. And we'll have to move down for this next one for the measurement. So I have the pulley system right here, which we already built. We're gonna, I'm gonna pass this over to my dad. We're gonna start with the lock, which is the one that holds up the handle. I'm gonna start giving my dad some tools when he asks for them. Okay, no more. I got it. Slow it down until it stops. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Stop it right there. Okay. Right. And then there's our mark right here. We're gonna put that right on our mark, and we're gonna prepare to screw that in. Okay, okay. 
I need a screwdriver to begin with. Yeah. Kind of a little bit of a challenge to hold it up there and get the screw and everything in place in the screwdriver. With uh, some extra that. help. With some extra help. And if you got a magnetic screwdriver like I've got here, you can just bring it up, meet your hole. Get one in to kind of keep it there, you know, make a stay. Make sure it's tight. Make sure you're into your stud. Make sure you're into your stud. If it doesn't stay, you're probably not into your stud and you're going to have Let's to go ahead and recheck that again then, Sean, just to make sure. We'll recheck that with our stud finder. Just to make sure that we're, we're right and once we put our bike in, it's not going to break off the whole machine. <laughs> We're a little, so, yeah. we probably could. We're about in the middle of it. About right, yeah. So that's the middle. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna end up putting in a couple extra stay ones too, just yeah. to make sure. But it looks like we're right in the middle. And that's where you wanna be. You wanna be right in the middle so that it, it stays stable with the stabilizer um, screws and- How does this look as far as like being straight? It looks straight to me. Okay. Straight to me as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and put it the three in the middle. Went in a little easy. I thought that was a bug <laughs> The leaf. easy. I think these are a little off here as far as like the stud. And then I'll bring it back up to you then. Yeah, let's just check it again one more time. Never hurts to check your positioning. Never hurts. Was it looking already a little unstable going in? I think we may end up having to move it over just a little bit, but we'll use those holes. Again. So let's come out a little bit from it. Let's bring this along the ceiling here. So our line really is about middle. It's about middle. Right there. It's possible that our stud is just um, well, smaller. Well, not on ceiling. Like, yeah, they may have put some uh, smaller. Smaller studs so that it will go through and then it will have an I'm easier gonna time. I'm going to move it again. over just a tiny Try bit. Try pulling it down, Dad. Pull it down. Let's see if that yeah, It's going to come down. The back one seems to be off, the but the front one seems to be fine. Yeah. It pulled out that one. Let's leave, let's leave one in, one stay one, and I'll show you a little trick. We're just going to take out, this one seemed like it was pretty easy to come off, so let's take that out. Yeah, that one's not really in good. So we got that middle one in, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty good. stable. So what we could do is just shift this over a little bit. I know you put an extra hole in the ceiling, but... I worked it in the long run. <laughs> Don't want it to fall out in the middle. If you got anything valuable, if you got a car underneath it, that's yeah. what we're doing. Um, yeah. You so don't want to have maybe, that happen. Maybe move it like this, just a little bit. Check the side down, make sure it's there. Okay. Do that again. Never hurts to check your stuff. Good there. The big thing is like sometimes like your ceilings are inconsistent. So we may have a stud. Oh, there we go. Inconsistent. So here you can see the studs really way over here. So that's that's the right placement for this. It kind of is is off a little. The ceiling it looks like, and they they've got it way over here. So you could either take it all the way out, or you can leave one up there just to kind of keep it nicely positioned. As it is, it's a little game to try to move around stuff when you're up this high. But now we can get our screw in a little bit better here.
sounded stable. That sounded good. Yeah. Now we can take this guy out. And when he's like not in there that good. Obviously, if you got more room, you can put a little resistance behind that screw. And here you're going to end up having to play the game of slowly removing it. Wish we knew more about this ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Our stud finder is doing the best job it can. That's the problem if you don't build your own house. Yeah. I don't know a lot about your ceiling. I hate to put a whole bunch of holes in just to kind of study. Yeah, there's the stud right there. So it's a little bit over from our crack. We can move this just a little bit more over now. Kind of straighten it out. Now we're about right. Go ahead and try it again. will tell you like that noise it's making is telling us we're, it's we're getting some resistance it. yeah well but then it goes sliding right in i'm gonna put a few of these in here lots of easy there uh, it's a lot stronger than it was the last time so that's nice that's we cool. are a little curved though you can get anything catch my catch the curve see that Oh yeah, we are a little bit curved. I thought you said because the stud was a little... Yeah. It is a little off, you're right. That should be fine though, right? I think uh, so. You want to go in as straight as you can. I mean, okay. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Alright, so now... Hold on for that, hold on for that. You want to go in as straight as you can, but if you don't have it straight enough, stop it. I don't want to show you like a partial job. Yeah. But if the stud is a little bit crooked, stud is a little bit crooked yeah, you, you might to go you're gonna need to go through the stud. So you might need to do a little bit crooked. If the um let's go ahead and do it again. Yeah, that that's a lot better right there. That was a lot better right there. I thought that was a good spot. This one's a good one. Yeah. That one's definitely in there right. I would keep it. Okay. I think it'll stay on the track. We'll keep it on the track. Off. But what we're going to do is just in case, like I said, we put some extra stay screws in. You want to get the drill or do you just want to go for the stick? Okay. Okay. Oh, you got that drill? Yeah, you know what? Right. Actually, let's do that. Let's okay. try that. You got a drill? So, for this one, making some small holes before you, you put your screw in. It can help make this a lot cleaner. All right, so then go every other one. Yeah, that's that's nothing right there. That's nothing right there. So we got a couple there that are gonna be good. I got a couple there that are like, mm. But with these, you're just going into some drywall, so. Safety glasses. Safety glasses. Maybe two. I wish I had two more hands. Safety glasses. Another ladder and another person up here. Safety glasses. Glasses, but safety as well. <laughs> no, that's, that's that sounds nice. That sounded real nice. <laughs> that's a nice sound. That's not like that's not that sound. Yeah, that's an eh sound. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. 
Okay. So, not too bad. Let's see how what strength we have here. That feels yeah. strong, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, strong. That feels strong. All right, so now we're going to move the ladder. We're going to move the ladder, and, and then we're going to start playing up this one. Down. Put these down. There you go. And put up this one. Okay, so now we got our marking right here. That's supposed to be our 30. If you remember right, the first screw we put in was right on the marking, so this one we can put our first one here on there. So we could either do that or we can measure it again, but I think the differences here look pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and measure it though. Yeah. Always measure twice. Yep. Do everything twice so that you don't um, wow. That's a your wall a lot. That's really good. So 30 is right to the middle of that. So let's go with the middle of this one. All right, and our stud finder, do that practice again. Now this one you can see like we're way over here on the other side. So I'm gonna wanna be like around that same spot or just a little bit to the other side of it. Can you go bigger? challenge you know if you come up a little bit higher maybe that gives you more leverage we'll try that too either way we're kind of high up be careful if you're climbing ladders so I'm gonna look for the clearance on this one to be like right about there all right so everything looks like it's freely movable okay kind of load it up here. This puts me like really close to it. It's not that much fun because I can't see what I'm doing. So instead I'm going to go over here. And I want it to be just right on or right next to that spot. Does that look going in? Well let's get a stay one up there and then we'll take a look again. screwdriver makes everything seem easy. It's a very strong screwdriver. <laughs> okay, it looks pretty straight, guys. Would you agree? Um, Would you want to... I mean, if you want it to be perfectly straight, you can move the side closest to me a little bit too. Side closest close to you? Towards you. Towards me? This, yep. this way? Yep. This way, like this? Yep, there you go. Okay. Um, Maybe a little bit less. A little less, okay. Might be it. What do you think, Gabe? Okay, yep. Okay. John has a better view than I do. I don't know. You got an eye. Oh. Was the straight still here or no? What do you think? Screw straight. You ever got one of those screws down there, big one? One of those bigger ones? Bigger ones? Oh, I got one right here. Yeah. I wonder if that drill bit was up there too. Yeah, that's a good good question. Good point. Take a look. This one. It's pretty solid. 
All right, let's switch to our drill. Get a couple more in and then we'll be done with this session. And then, next session. Then you can show them how to put that last piece in. Strong. Oh, yeah. That's right. All right. Check up there, Dad. See if the drill bit is up there. Mm -hmm. The drill bit's up there. Good question. Okay. Yes, we are going to uh, now. No, it's not. Get to the last part of this project. Um, so, getting to uh, pasting the um, rope onto the wall and everything fixed up up here, and then we'll show you the finished product. We'll see you there. So, now that we've stabilized and put our pulley to our ceiling, we are going to put out my mom's bike right here. Um, my dad's just tying it up for the final tie. Now let's start pulling. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, it's magic. Oh, well, that one's got to go up for it. So you pull it, then lock it, and pull it again. There it goes. As me, because I'm not as strong as my dad. My dad can just pull it like that. <coughs> Um, but I'm not strong, so I have to do it the other way. It tries to slip a little bit. Let's test it halfway, halfway up there. Maybe let go, see if it locks. Oh, see if let go a little bit. See if it locks. Look at that. That is magic right there. That is awesome. No touching. No touching. Let go. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. okay. We're good. Let's get this all the way to the top here. Get all the way to the top, and then we can tie it up to the wall, and that will be a done deal. <laughs> Don't stand on right underneath the big guy for, <laughs> for the moment, yeah. And this is our first attempt here. Um, and it looks pretty stable. Maybe let go, Let's try to see if this is. That's nope. how you lower, That's how how you you lower it. it. You just unlock it. Do that again, then. Okay, Come so in. here's the lock. So here's the lock, unlock it, unlock. and then that can be taken down pretty easily and then pull it back up, lock it again, Ooh, and easy like that. Just like that. It's like magic. That's it? Nice. And then you're going to want to secure that on the wall. Okay, yeah. Now, we're just going to secure this on the wall. We'll Where's show you that process, time lapse right here. Um, we'll put it right here for now, um, just to make sure that's secure. We'll put something up there time lapse that and you'll see the whole process and then we'll come back we'll have a conclusion of this all and you'll see how we actually think about the whole pulley system i'll see you guys then Hello guys, this is the end of the video and my conclusion on the whole pulley system. We got the instructions right here. 
for the pulley this is the company that we oh, this is the company and the whole kind of pulley systems as well as the instructions so what do i think about this thing first of all as you guys can see this is a very small booklet and it shows in the amount of instructions that there are there's no instructions on how to build the pulley system there's no instructions on what you really want to use to install it and there's no instructions on um, the locking mechanism, which was one of the hardest parts that we had. Um, it doesn't work the same up on the ceiling as it does on the floor, and it was very hard to build for us. So that's definitely something that needs to be improved on in this pulley system. They need to make sure that the instructions are explained at a lower level or at just like if someone wants to build this in their home and they're not a very, they're not a very professional um construction worker then they can actually build this machine without any problem next i want to say that the screws and um screws are not very good they do not have washers either so the pulley system has its own screws however the screws that they use we had to change out we had to use our own screws to make sure that it was strong enough to stay on our ceiling um I think that they to improve upon this design as well, they need better screws and they need some washers for those screws to make sure that it stays up without any problems, without any damage to your walls, and without any any um, possibility of it falling on stuff that will be on the floor if it's valuable, if it's like a car or something. You don't want your thing to be dropping. You want those heavy duty screws, you want those washers to make sure that this thing doesn't drop. And lastly, the rope. The rope is not a very um, heavy duty rope. It's very light. It's very, um, how do you say, low quality. It seems like it's a low quality rope. What I think they need to do is make it more um, high quality, more heavy duty rope to make sure that this thing doesn't break over high amounts of usage and making sure that if you pull it down that it's not breaking the rope and once you pull it back up it's not breaking the rope either we don't want that rope to um all of a sudden break have the bike fall because of how weak it is we want a heavy duty rope to make sure that the bike is able to stay up easily we were we weren't able to have a heavy duty rope that fits into the thing so we have to use the light hopefully it works out we'll have an update video if it does start breaking down but right now, I think getting new screws that will be more heavy duty, getting washers will be very helpful for the construction. Also, getting some more heavy duty rope is very important for the construction of this pulley system. And lastly, but most importantly, instructions. The instructions are very important if someone wants to do this like homemade thing and they want to build this in their home and they're not a very professional person. So. Those are all my kind of requirements to make this a little bit better. And what would I give it? Because of all these problems, it still works. It's still functional. And for that, I got to give it a passing grade. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. That's a C. It's passing. Barely, but passing. And hopefully it's able to improve upon that in the future. I've been Sean on Learning Curve. Um, thank you guys for listening. Hopefully you guys like the video. Like and subscribe if you do. And I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys.